So in this lecture, we'll look at how to obtain the optimal true regret bounds. Recall in the previous lecture, uh, there was an exercise in the end where we got t to the power 3 fourth regret bound. Here we'll see how to make it uh, order of square root t. So to do this, we need to modify the algorithm. So as before, this lecture is supported in part by NSF award CCF 1749864. Okay, so what is the new idea here? So the new idea here is to replace the estimator with a new estimator. That's it. And rest all remains the same. So it's the same exp3 algorithm. Instead of using IPS estimates, we'll use a slightly different estimate. And then remaining procedure remains the same. And this algorithm is called exp3.p. And this is from the same paper due to Euler et al. And we, this, doing this modification suffices to get the optimal order of square root t dependence on the time horizon. So let's see what this new, uh, new estimator is. So the new estimator is as follows. So the new estimator takes a parameter beta, which lies between 0 and 1 as input. And it, it constructs the estimates as follows. So ft tilde of a at time step t is ft of a plus beta divided by qt of a. If a equal to at, it's 0 otherwise. Where qt of a is the same expression as before, which is the probability of the algorithm choosing action, AT at, uh, action a at time t given the previous actions, right? Uh, recall that previously the IPS estimate was just ft of a equal to ft of a by qt of a when a equal to at and zero otherwise. So here we have this additional bias term beta. So it's ft of a plus beta, this additional bias divided by qt of a. That's it. So that's the modification we need to do to the estimator. And just to recall, uh, the procedure remains as before. So it's the same thing as exp3. So in exp3.p, it additionally takes this bias term between 0 and 1 as input. And as before, we invoke hedge to obtain an action ht. Then we flip a coin xt to with probability gamma to see whether we need to do uniform exploration or not. So with probability gamma, we do uniform exploration. With probability 1 minus gamma, we just choose the action given by hedge. And then we construct this fake payoff vector ft tilde to give it to hedge. And now here, this payoff vector is where we, the algorithm is being modified and the, the payoff is created by having this IPS plus bias term, which you just saw before. And then give FT of tilde as feedback to hedge, right? So the modification is very simple and very, like it's a very tiny, seemingly tiny modification, but that is all that is needed to get what we want. So the regret bound exp3.p algorithm gets is as follows. So exp3.p, so you set gamma to be of the order square root k log k over t and beta to be uh, square root 1 over kt log k over delta for some known failure probability delta. Then we have with probability at least 1 minus delta, the true regret, which is this quantity here, that is sum t equal to 1 to t ft of a star minus sum t equal to 1 to t ft of at is at most order square root kt log k over delta. So here we get the optimal dependence on the time horizon, right? So this is what exp3.p gets. So in the next lecture, we'll see how to analyze this.